lot of dust. Gotta do some cleaning tomorrow. Whew. Hello, I'm the Zombie J. And I figured before I uh, stop recording and let my camcorder charge, because recording while charging weakens the battery. <coughs> Damn it. So this is my favorite vehicle from 2009. It is the Thornatus V9. Yes, the Thornatus V9. I've had this thing since 2010, I think. Yeah. It was either this or Optimus Prime. I chose this because childhood. <coughs> Damn it. Mm. So this is my favorite Bionicle vehicle from 2009, obviously. My absolute favorite. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> so, let's take a look at this, shall we? This is a big vehicle with all sorts of tans and grays and dark grays and black, silver, <laughs> um, uh, gun metal, uh, yeah. Um, and obviously the driver is uh, Perditus. He's from the uh, the Vul Vul Vulcanus village. He was a Glatorian, obviously, still is. And um, unfortunately, he is pretty broken right now. <coughs> So I'm afraid if I take him out, or at least attempt to take him out of the thing, yeah, very loose parts. I'm just going to keep him in there because, well, eventually I fear I may have to get a new copy of this vehicle in general at some point. That's going to be a lot of money. I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to stretch this thing's lifespan out for as long as I can before I have to replace it. But yeah, Cortesius, or uh, Periditus, has the Anika build. Obviously, the the torso is sort of Anika. Um, like, I mean, he's got the gunmetal Anika torso version one. At least armor. His crotch area is uh, is um, uh, 2009 uh, version of well, Metro Red. Um, the Inaika uh, back piece is um, upper torso area is gray. Um, the fists are gray. Obviously, the the Metro feet are uh, well red. Um, it's got some black joints. Has his ankles. His his uh, lower legs are Rakshi legs. His upper legs are well, what we would expect from a. Uh, an Ica build. Uh, his uh, lower arms are Metru, Toa Metru uh, lower legs. And of course, he's got the Anika um, armor right there mounted sideways because of a certain piece that was introduced specifically for a few Glatorian sets, uh, legend sets, obviously, and Perdictus, as well as. Um, Rotor from Hero Factory. I took apart Rotor because I fucking hate him. <laughs> I mean, the set is a Bionicle esque build. I like that. It's just the mask is fucking hideous. <laughs> it's absolutely fucking abomination. Uh, anyway, so Perditus, uh, he does have a Glatorian uh, neck and a Glatorian head. The head is in Translime Green. And the uh, mask, helmet thing, is the same one on Samad from the Baran SV-7 vehicle. Except this one is in red. Yeah, pretty cool. So the seat he currently is in, this is a very technic build, obviously. It's clearly supposed to be like the jet tracks of um, a ground vehicle thing for Bar Magna, And I can see that clearly, uh, but... Maybe a little more simpler than the jet tracks, I'd say. <sighs> Is that even possible? I don't know. Uh, he's got a Paraka foot version 2 in silver down there. You can actually see it from underneath as well. Um, and behind him, right where his butt is, 
is a uh, Inaika upper arm armor piece in silver. So, a lot of silver used on here. We've got these Krika heads from the Mystica Krika set um, in silver. That's pretty cool. They're angled with this one angled piece. It goes over these massive fucking uh, wheels. Plastic wheels. So, these are rocky in texture. They look pretty freaking cool. Um, edgy, I guess you could say. Uh, speaking of edgy, <laughs> we've got these spike pieces in silver from Krika. And return of the uh, uh, the um, the staff of light piece. Obviously, that's pretty cool. Got some uh, pistons right here, which is where the controls are. Unfortunately, one of these pistons is absolutely shit and broken. I'm gonna have to replace it. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh well, I might have the parts. Um, got a couple of these uh, Metru. Uh, Toa Metru chest cavity enclosure pieces, I guess. One right here with the game piece. Loose. And uh, one up here, which is more static. Um, uh, Mystica. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, got a Mystica shield piece in tan. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a uh, movable turret thing, and it sucks that it just broke on me. God damn it. I'm gonna have to replace that later. I don't want to do it right now because I'm filming. Ah, come on, stupid. Well, I'll just set that right there for now. The cockpit obviously goes up like that, kind of similar to the Jetrax one. He does have this scope piece from Golly Mystica, which folds away like that, folds back like this. Um, 2007 uh, Mari blades from Dekar and Defilac. Silver, obviously. This bend piece, some tubi yeah, tubing, a lot of Technic stuff. Um, a uh, foot, a uh, Metro foot in silver. A um, Kalma foot in um, gunmetal, and another uh, Mystica shield piece. We'll come back to this. Um, other than that, most of it is just oh, fucking Technic flim flamery. It's fun. Uh, we got some of these panel pieces of some sort of these angled panel pieces, which are pretty cool, nice and sharp. They have movement. We've got these tubes, which I can assume does something. I don't know. Uh, then we got four Midax Sky Blasters, in case the uh, turret wasn't enough. Got lots of artillery on this thing, so that's cool, I guess. You got this big fucking wheel, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure has been used in Exoforce. Does that sound right? Was this used in Exoforce? I don't know. But this looks fucking awesome. And just, <laughs> just like playing with the wheel. <laughs> uh... Anyway, what I know, what I don't understand is they put these two ax red axles in two length on both top of here. Why? I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe uh, Perdentis is supposed to uh, like if he comes off of the uh, vehicle, he's supposed to take those two um, top of my axe sky blasters and use them for. Uh, Combat? I don't know. That doesn't make sense, actually. So, fuck it. Um, oh, and I forgot about these Elec claws on the sides here to protect the wheels. I mean, they're going to get sand in them anyway, so... Um, but there's a lot of Technic beams. There's some um, random small Technic parts here and there. Uh, there is this middle wheel thing, which is a combination of two half wheels. Yeah, those are supposed to be um, those Technic pieces, that black piece. It's supposed to be light gray. They both broke, so <laughs> I had to replace it. Uh, you see there's a red rubber band. That's the original rubber band. And there's two of this chassis piece, actually, being used. Uh, one, two, three, four of that chassis piece. That's insane. That's excessive. Holy fuck. Um, so the main function of this thing, obviously, besides the turrets, besides, you know, firing these off, all the balls are in there, obviously. Mm. And you can do this, obviously. Uh, the main function, the main gimmick, is this. 
and the rubber band just fell off. Fuck this thing. <laughs> it's... God, is it that old? Is this rubber band that old? Look at this. I think it's gonna fall apart at some point. Mm. This thing is old. It's from 2009, for fuck's sake. Now nah, it's still pretty strong, so I'll hold on to it. But yeah, this is basically... Well, I guess you could have it like this as well. Um, but maybe we should go all forward. Yeah, now it looks like a Jet Trax. <laughs> I've never owned a Jet Trax, so I don't care. Um, but yeah, this thing looks fucking sick. It looks awesome. Just had flashbacks to Dragula by Rob Zombie. <laughs> Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. I slam in the back of my thorn head. <laughs> uh, somebody make a meme of that, I dare you. So. This is uh, pretty fucking cool. You can have a couple of Glatorians, one on each uh, side, one up here, and one in the cockpit. In fact, they did that in the movie The Legend Reborn. So, that's pretty cool. Um, hell, you could have a couple of folks hanging out on these. I guess that's why they put the red, <laughs> the red axle there, so people can hang off of it. Uh, there's some gaps, obviously. You can see through the middle there. There's some gapage. <laughs> Um, there's some gap right there. Look at that. There's there's definitely a lot of gaps here. Um, it's not escapable, obviously. Uh, there's a couple of uh, black gears, the same black gears that were used on Sidorak, that are being used here. Were these used on the uh, Barag twins as well? Hmm. No, these are uh, the same ones that are used on uh, Sidorak. So. That's cool to have those. Um, a lot of bushings, a lot of tan pieces, so... <laughs> God, I feel like such a kid playing with this wheel. It's so fun. Alright. And really, this thing is taking up a lot of shelf space in this uh, wide angle. It looks pretty fucking cool, and I love it. And I wish I had a Jet Tracks to compare it to. Uh, Still lose so many Technic pieces. Technic to the face. Technic to the face. Alright. So, when you close this in, you have to do it like this. Well, you could do it uh, softly like this. Or, you do it like this. There you go. That didn't even work, actually, so. But, yeah, so. Let's, let's put this fucking rubber band back on. Rubber band to the face. Come on, rubber band. F fuck you, rubber band. <sighs> Come on, rubber band. There we go. It still works. Cool. So that is the Thornadus V9. I absolutely love this thing. It is my favorite vehicle from 2009. And it probably forever will be. <laughs> Let's be honest. I do need to replace this damn uh, hand piece, socket piece, because that broke on camera. That was embarrassing. Yeah. I I hate when that happens. These f pieces tend to break like mental. So I'm not happy that that broke, but I can replace it with an older one probably. And I'm not happy that Perditus himself is broken, but again, you know, if I come across a lot on eBay where Perditus is present and it's not the Thornatus uh, being included in there, it's just Perditus, that might work. Because um, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, or I could replace the, um, the whatever pistons are broken for the controls and uh, replace Perditus with a new driver. Oh, yeah. I might come up with a, my own Glatorian at some point. I know Skybird has his own uh, Glatorian, Israkoth, which is pretty cool, so we'll check that out. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's much else I could say about this behemoth of a... Well, if you want a behemoth of a Bionicle vehicle, uh, we're going to get to that. Um, I think I'd rather let my camera charge first, so... Uh, yeah, we'll come to that later. Um, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll let y'all know. The video will be in your feed, trust me, if you subscribe. 
So, that is the Thornatus V9. I highly recommend this thing if you can find it for retail price of $50. Was it $50 or was it $60? I don't remember. I don't care. I had the box. In fact, I still have the instructions to this thing. I got rid of the box because that was space that I needed. <laughs> Um, kind of think of it, I got rid of the box for my second copy of Ultimate Duma as well. I kept the instructions. Still have the, ol the old instructions for my original copy. Hmm, I tend to keep instructions for the most part. There's some instructions that I've lost over time. Ugh, I feel ashamed for that. So yeah. This is a great vehicle. I love it. And it's great. So there you go. <sighs> Sorry about my coughing. It's just a lot of dust uh, that fly flew off that thing. I'm going to clean my room tomorrow, probably. <sighs> At least the tea helped. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you all for watching this review. I'll see you folks later. Have a good fucking day and peace. I am the Zombie J. Once again, I'm here again. <laughs> oh, that was an old uh, thing from 2020. Or 2010. Anyway, see ya.